Hello, Brian with Film Direct here. I'm going to do a short video on how to print halftone dots with an Epson Workforce 7210. So um, through PrintFab, it's a new software we're offering. It does a does a pretty good job with printing um, halftone dots and spot colors from that Epson Workforce 7210. So um, I'm going to assume that you got the PrintFab download on your computer already, and it's going to look something like this. Um, what you do is you go to add printer. It's going to look for any particular printers on the computer. All right, so it found the Epson Workforce 7210. So now we're going to look for that particular model. I think it's way down at the bottom. There you go right there. And we're going to add a name for it. Okay, so now it's already installed on our system. So we're gonna exit out of PrintFab. And then here we have a test document that we're gonna print. It's just a series, it's gonna print a series of halftone dots. So to bring up the print, the PrintFab configuration menu, what you do is Control P, and this is gonna bring up, it's gonna bring up your Illustrator dialog box. It could be Photoshop or Corel or whatever, but it's all more or less the same. So you wanna, Pick the printer. This is the one we just installed. You want to choose the paper size. A3 Plus is going to be 13 by 19. And then go to either print. It's either going to say printer or setup. And then um, under paper feed, you want to change this to rear feed. Otherwise, it's going to automatically try to print from one of the front paper feeds, and it doesn't really pull film that well from there. So the, the rear paper feed is the best option. And then we go to PrintFab settings. There's a bunch of settings here, but you only have to really be concerned with um, the quality and the media type and the brightness. The rest of this stuff is um, for printing color photographs, so we're going to ignore most of that. So you want to change the media type to archival matte. You're going to change the, res the quality, which is also the resolution to 600 dpi. Uh, dithering, don't worry about. The brightness, this will change the linearization of the dots. So we found using a color dense atometer that the 130% brightness is um, a linearized, it's close to being a completely linearized dot, meaning that a 10% dot's gonna register about 12% on film, which is about as close as you're gonna be able to get. So um, with that said, then we're gonna that's all you need to change on this set on this screen. And then you go to printer features. And then under printer features, go to special settings, screen printing one. Under halftone screen mode, you're going to choose single black. Screen ink saturation, you're going to go to 100%. Screen LPI, you can choose whatever you want. Um, screen angle, same thing. And then the screen shape, elliptical, around, whatever, whatever you want to do. And then I recommend go ahead and saving that setting right now. So I typically put the model number, the how big the dot is, and the angle. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So that's now now it's saved for future use. So now when if we want to use a 50 LPI 45 degree dot, we can just go ahead and choose this setting. If you want to do multiple settings, you can just change this to whatever, and um, keep saving multiple settings if you have your favorite. You know lines uh, line screen or whatever you want to save just you do a different setting and then save it and that'll save right into your presets folder right here um, another thing to add there's there's a mode there's the half cone screen mode is there's either single black multi-black or single black pre half toned or multi-black pre half toned um, the I found that on this particular printer the single black one works the best or the single black pre half toned what this pre half tone means is that if you choose the pre-halftone and then go back to your output, you can actually change the dot here. And it's going to change. This is going to override the print fab setting. So if you have a particular angle or dot that's not listed in the print fab um, dropdown, you can go ahead and choose the you go ahead and choose the single black pre-halftoned. And what that does is it's gonna um, it's gonna allow you to overwrite print fab right here. So um, that's pretty much it. You go ahead and hit print, and that's gonna send the job to the printer. 
And uh, that's how easy it is to use. You know, if you want to continue to change the halftone settings or density or whatever, just go back to printer. And then um, I wouldn't mess around with these settings too much. If you if the print looks too light or it looks banded, you want to go into printer features and then go into the screen print settings. And right now we've got it at the minimum ink saturation. If it looks banded or if it looks too light, you can bump it up in 10% increments and um, and see if it if that fixes a problem. I would you know if you go the 200% is default, but we found that it really oversaturates any kind of small detail or um, the halftone dots. And the 100% is actually it, it actually works pretty good. It's got a really high D max. These are our recommended settings. You know, go ahead and mess around with it. If you have any have any questions or whatever, feel free to hit us up. And um, thanks for watching.